Every year, more than 200 million televisions are sold worldwide. What's truly fascinating is observing how these televisions are assembled, tested, and packaged. All of this takes place on a carefully planned production line, with workers and machines synchronized to achieve incredible efficiency. But have you ever wondered how televisions are made? We visited an LED television factory to discover the manufacturing process. This mega factory spans over 1 million square meters and produces half a million smart televisions annually. Its specialty is manufacturing large televisions. It's a state-of-the-art production facility where people work quickly. One of today's technological marvels is the liquid crystal flat screen, a key component found in televisions, computer monitors, and most smartphones. Compared to regular televisions, LED TVs offer a more vivid image with better contrast, and the product is thinner. Modern televisions are much thinner than their predecessors due to changes in the manufacturing processes. Glass is the largest component of a flat-screen TV and serves as the starting point for television creation. The process begins in a clean room where the TV screen is fabricated. Liquid crystal displays are made by sandwiching two thin glass sheets together. On one sheet, a layer of silicon is deposited, followed by a precise construction of millions of transistors. This step is repeated to create small cells, one for each pixel on the screen. On the other glass sheet, a matrix of millions of red, green, and blue points, also known as the color filter array, is created. Small amounts of liquid crystal material are then dropped into the cells on the first sheet, and the two sheets are bonded together. This machine is responsible for fitting the LEDs onto their strips. The challenge is to disperse their light across a screen that can be as wide as one and a half meters. The solution is a transparent plastic known as plexiglass. When light shines through one end, the plexiglass's structure scatters the beam across the entire sheet. On the production line, a robot places the panel over the light strip and then adds two optical films that enhance the screen's brightness and color. High-pressure plastic injection machines produce various front casings for different TV sizes. Once the screen is completed, frames are attached. However, liquid crystals won't work without power. The components that distribute power are manufactured on-site with this machine. These are the mainboard, known as the SSB, and the power PCB. It's the TV's brain and its circuits contain complex algorithms that ensure the picture and sound are perfect. There are also other boards for TV controls on the sides, receiving the remote control signal, and the Wi-Fi board. Generating the image and sound involves using a large number of individual components that are placed one by one on thousands of baseboards. In this section, the boards are finished with the insertion of components. They then go through a wave soldering process that electrically connects all the components. In the next stage, workers screw the baseboard to the TV's back cover. Electric screwdrivers are carefully calibrated to avoid over-tightening, suspended from above to reduce fatigue. Subsequently, the finished TVs go through a memory part recording and testing area. Software and necessary information are recorded for the device to power up. Afterward, the rear panels are added, and the finished TVs undergo a quick color test. At this point, the TV is placed upright and turned on for the first time. All components are checked, and an electrical test ensures everything is functioning correctly. Some defects are not visible to the naked eye, so high-sensitivity scanners focus on key areas to ensure all pixels are active and firing as they should. The average lifespan of these screens is 100,000 hours. Each pixel constitutes a point in the displayed image. High-definition screens have over 2 million pixels, each with three subpixels, red, blue, and green. By combining these three colors, a TV can display more than 1 billion different colors. 
The final quality control process lasts a minimum of four hours, and each device undergoes extensive testing. The entire process is supervised by highly skilled experts. Televisions are hand-packed before being shipped in cardboard boxes. The end of a long assembly line results in hundreds of televisions packed on pallets. Once the packaging is complete, the televisions are loaded onto a truck to begin their journey to the customer. Like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Additionally, subscribe to this channel and enable notifications to continue learning.